Here we are in our QuickBooks Online test company file using the accountant view as opposed to the business view. You can toggle between the two views by going to the cog up top and switching the view down below. We're gonna duplicate some tabs to put our major financial statement reports in, that being the balance sheet and income statement, which we will do basically every time. Right click on the tab up top to duplicate it. Right clicking on the duplicated tab to duplicate it. As the one to the right is thinking, I'm gonna tab to the middle and go to the reports on the left hand side, open up one of the big favorite financials, that being the balance sheet, which should be in the favorites. It's everybody's favorite report. So it'll be in the favorites, it should be. If it's not, put it there. And then we're gonna go to the tab to the right and we're gonna go down to the reports on the left hand side. And this time the P and the L, uh, otherwise known as the profit and loss or income statement. I'm gonna close the hamburger up top We'll change the range. Then I'm going to go from 010123 to, to 123123. Run it, tapping to the left, scrolling up, closing the hamburger, changing the range to the same range 010123 to 123123. And let's run that as well. And then I'm going to tab to the left. This is the setup process we will generally be going through every time this is the workflow i usually think of when working within uh, quickbooks online having my data input here my reports open on the right we now want to think about the auto miles tracking options within quickbooks online mainly geared to help you with your tax preparation to be able to take the auto deduction using the standard mileage rate Although you can think about other uses for this tool as well. You might want to track your personal miles, for example, for your own budgeting purposes, and it can be used for that purpose as well. We'll talk about the way uh, auto expenses are typically deducted for say a Schedule C business a bit in future presentations. So you can see how this system might fit into your overall system to help you with your tax preparation at the end of the year. Right now, let's just take a look at an overview of where it is located. So we're on the left-hand side. We're looking for the mileage. This is in the accountant view where you have it located here under mileage. Note that if you're in the business view, it'll be located under apps. I'm gonna go back up to the dashboard so we can see that and go to the COGS tab. And I'm gonna switch to the business view and then under the business view, it's gonna be down here under the apps. Now that could be a little bit confusing at first because it kind of leads you to think that you have to actually basically connect to the app before you're gonna see this mileage item here. And that's not the case. In other words, you might be thinking, well, that means that I have to go into this apps area and then search for the QuickBooks online uh, auto application. That's not the case. It'll generally be here uh, just with the normal QuickBooks Online, I believe the logic of putting it under the apps area is that then you could integrate this with an app on your phone. So if you want to integrate it with an app on your phone, then you do have to download the app on your phone and that can help automate the tracking of the miles, which we'll talk a little bit, bit about in future presentations. I'm going to go back to the switching the view to the accountant view. Let's go back on into the accountant view and then i'm going to go to the mileage on the left hand side so this is what the screen looks like when you just first go into it, it says track mileage automatically and get 0.655 dollars a mile that's 65 and a half cents a mile and don't forget that hay penny because it adds up when you have a lot of miles in any case where do they come up with that 0.655 in essence they're taking that from the tax code for auto deductions if you're using a mileage method generally geared towards and aimed at sole proprietor types of businesses that report their taxes with the help and use of a Schedule C. So that's kind of a primary target for this tool. We'll talk more about how to deduct automobile expenses for a sole proprietorship in future presentations because I think that'll help us see how we might integrate this system into our bookkeeping system that might help us to make our tax preparation a little bit more easy at the end of the year but 
You can also use this tool for other purposes as well. You might want to track your personal trips so that you can get a better idea of, of the personal costs and habits and so on on the personal trips. And it does that as well. So it says here, get the free QuickBooks mobile app, point your device's camera at the code and a link will pop up. So here's where the application comes into play. Remember this here, I didn't, I didn't add an application to get to this on in QuickBooks. We're just going into QuickBooks in order to see this. But if you want to link and integrate this onto the phone, then you're going to have to have the app on the phone that will integrate with your QuickBooks. And of course, the QuickBooks is on the cloud, so you can get into QuickBooks either on the phone or on some other device, such as a, a desktop. So me, I would imagine using this type of system, having the integration on the phone and then, and then tracking the miles and then on the desktop, typically when doing the bookkeeping, I, I would manage the miles and then allocate the trips to either business trips or personal trips. So in essence, if you have the app on the phone, then the phone can kind of automatically track uh, your miles and track where, where you are going. And then you can either on the phone or in your desktop computer, now that it is integrated, go into your system here and allocate all of your trips as business or personal. Now that's pretty neat, pretty cool that it can, it can uh, uh, do that because then it's gonna track all of the places that you've gone and you can basically allocate those out. Although it's also can be a little bit weird when you're not used to that because it's like, it's tracking basically everywhere you go. 